start at 8.30 or later? Do you get at least eight hours of sleep? Do you feel tired at school? School should have a later start time of 8.30 or later. Our first argument is that later school start time can benefit students' physical health. Our second argument is that more sleep will improve students' mental health. Our third and last argument is that more sleep will improve students' academic performance and school attendance. If you have the right amount of sleep, then you'll be more focused. If schools delay the start time to 8.30 or later, it will cut down on the 84% of students who don't get eight hours of sleep. Delaying school start time will benefit students in many ways, helping them with physical tasks, mental challenges, and emotional feelings and responses. Evidence has shown that some complex physical tasks may be sensitive to sleep deprivation, and therefore they may, they may be harder to accomplish and you may not be able to accomplish them by your fullest effort. Also, not being that sleep can be dangerous. Not being enough sleep can be dangerous because it can cause micro sleeps during the day. Micro sleeps are mental lapses where you fall asleep for a short amount of time, which when you drive, it can cause accidents. Teens are also biologically built up to stay, stay up later or sleep later. Teens that get more sleep most likely will have a mental, healthier mental status, which helps with them up their emotional state too. Sleep deprivation plays a role in poor judgment and your decision making skills. There were many tests done and surveys, but one of the tests we found was from the article. Studies showed teens better from a later school day, saying that reports of daytime sleepiness substantially dropped. 49% to 40% when there was a delay in their school start time. Students with less sleep have been seen to be more depressed and are more likely to become angry faster when they have frustrating tasks. Students that get more sleep are more likely to have better academic grades and scores and better attendance. Studies have shown that, there were, that, that in a school with a later start, start time got better scores on national and state achievement tests with a later start time School was a study taken from a school and it was shown that there was less dropouts and grades increased with the later start time. The results from that, that the schools that changed to a later start time were improved grades, increased attendance among 9th through 11th graders. When school is pushed back, that also means that after school activities will be pushed back. When your activities are pushed later, they would also end later than they normally would now. School would end at 4.30, so let's say activities from 6 to 8. Before and after your activity, you also have to add the amount of time it takes to drive to and from your activity. When you get home around, let's say, 8.30, you still have a project to finish and a 20-question worksheet. This could take at least an hour to finish. 
Students could be tired from the activity and not put their best effort into their schoolwork, leading to stress and poor grades. Students are already stressed over not having enough time now after school, so why push school and activities back and have even less time? Our third main argument is that if schools were pushed back to a later time, it would disrupt families' meeting schedule. If your routine was pushed back, activities, homework, and extracurricular activities will also be pushed back because of the ending of the school. According to Issues Researcher, a significant change in a family schedule will take time to arrange, and this can affect every aspect of a family and community life. This shows that any type of significant change to a normal life family schedule can hurt them. Also, it can also hurt the families who have strict jobs and the parents who have to be on time in the morning for their jobs. It can also have a con the can kids can also have a conflict with the older kids and the younger kids if they wake up and it would be hard for parents to balance them out during the morning time. It would also affect any high schoolers who have after school activities or any jobs that they have to go to. Because of the school's ending times, their homework would also be pushed back and they would have to go to their work time and then after that they would be doing their homework, which would also lead to a uh, longer time and it would be hard for them to finish all of that. Although school will be let out later than usual, teens still need to get more sleep. Giving up some of your after school time is better than teens falling asleep in school or engaging in risky behavior. For example, the study by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention found that teens who get less than seven hours of sleep on school nights were more likely to engage in risky behaviors, such as texting and driving or drinking and driving. In conclusion, sleep deprivation can cause the brain to make poor decisions that can lead to dangerous behavior. And also, teens who get more sleep also have a better academic performance and overall better grades. There are also less teenagers that are going through depression. According to the text, Dr. Kyla Wallstrom studied the impact of change school, changing school start times from 7.15 a.m. to 8.40 a.m. on 18,000 students in the Minneapolis Public School District. Results showed improved grades, increased attendance among 9th through 11th graders, decreased student-reported depression, and fewer dropouts. In conclusion, teens who have less than eight to nine hours of sleep are more likely to get a bad grade on tests and even on topics they have already mastered.
proponent may say it will improve your physical, mental, and academic health, but we believe these reasons only help kids towards a more fresher morning. Results have shown that 85% of teens who sleep in during the day are less likely to be more active. Kids tend to be more lazy if they wake up at a later time. If kids have a later starting time, they might feel lazy and unwilling during the morning and may not feel like doing any extracurricular activities. They also may feel too relaxed and not sleep until a later time. As well as too much sleep is bad for your health and can lead to health problems such as mental illness or inactive. These reasons support why you should not have later start times. Overall, school should have a later start time to be beneficial to students and teachers. Doctors are encouraging schools to delay school start time so teenagers can get enough sleep through the day or for the day. Having more sleep gives physical benefits but leads to less accidents. Also, more sleep, time to sleep means better mental health. Lastly, it had a big effect on students' academic performance, which would be great for the students' college applications. Though there might be many reasons someone would think this is bad, there's always a reason that will back ours up. School might be let out later, but, there will, but it will still be out in time way before dinner. Though it seems there won't be time for activities, but it's time in the morning, after school, and after dinner, since we will most likely get out at 3 p.m. We have researched a great deal of accurate articles, so next time you hear the idea of a later school start time, we hope you take it into consideration. school start at 9.30 has many negative effects on people. You would, you would be sleeping late due to activities at a later time or homework that is delayed due to the school's ending time. As well as after school or extracurricular activities will be pushed back as well as because of the school's ending time. And it may, get, and it may have, uh, have conflicts for getting place to place after school. Third of all, the later school start time will disrupt families and it, and it will be hard for them to balance things out with a significant schedule change. With these statements being said, schools should not have a 